A few years ago, I reviewed Bob Excel. A few weeks ago, I reviewed Junior Bob. And today, I'm reviewing the original Century Bob. to fit to box channel I'm coach Simon and here at fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment today is the turn of the original century bobs these are iconic figures and you will see these in many sort of boxing gyms and also sort of combat gyms around the world and as you can see you've got that realistic face and body target these ones, we've got two different types. We've got one with a more rounder base, which I will show you. Um, that sort of moves round, so you can move round while you're hitting this one. This one is actually a little bit firmer in the body and the head. And then we've got one with a flatter base, which by this one has got a softer face and softer body. The only thing I can think, because that's got a flat base and a softer head and body, is I think that's probably more for home use, so it doesn't move around as much. This one definitely, because the base is a bit rounder, this one does move around more. So if you've got short on space, you can get this one with the flatter base. And if you've got a gym like here, where you can move around, you can use these. I have to say, I think both are fantastic. I prefer the, the sort of the more firm one actually than the softer one, but sometimes you do see videos online when someone's hitting the bob and his, his, his head is coming all out of shape. And I can only think that it is on this one that they're doing that because I don't think that that would happen on this one. In terms of the material, I mean they are, um, it's like a brilliant flesh-like human target with that durable vinyl-like skin. Um, I have to say though, we use these a tremendous amount. Um, you can see they're a little bit dirty, they're a little bit scuffed and that's fine and also when the splits we have to try and do a little bit of re repair with it but they are so versatile I mean you can um, change the with a twist of bob so you put him up you move him like like so you can and, and down to a different height so there is seven heights that you can get these to uh, that one's like the base and then just simply lift up and then you just slot them across and they go to a different height. You lift up and you slot again and you can get them really, really tall as well. So that's, that's me. I mean, I'm 6'4", so these can accommodate, you know, many, many heights. In terms of the heights, they go from 60 inches to 78 inches. In the bottom of them, plastic bases where you can put either water or sand. If you don't want them to move around, put sand in. If you're not that bothered and you, you want to be able to sort of, maybe you need to move them in the future if you're moving house, I do think that it'd be much easier if you've got water in them. We just have water in ours. Uh, with water, they do say 270 pounds or 123 kilos is what it weighs when they're filled. And there is caps on this one. The cap is, if I'll just show you, I'll bring it right up. On this particular one, the cap is there, and then on the other one, the cap is on the base, not on the, on the top there. You just unscrew, fill them with water, or fill them with sand, and then obviously put this on the top, and you're good to go in terms of just slot it in like so, and then they're back ready to use. So, I think that they are superb. They are a realistic punch dummy, they're great for picking your shots, uh, they're easy to clean and maintain. Uh, they're made of a durable flesh-like material. They're height adjustable. You fill them with water or with sand. And then all I would say, and I'll come on to the price in a moment, but they are a high price point now. Uh, they were high before. They're even more expensive now. And also, we do get at the gym where people mistreat them a little bit um, by sort of hanging off the head or kicking them or stuff like that. And all that's going to happen if people mistreat them is they're not going to last as long.
the prices then. This one here used to be 299 English pounds. That has gone up to a whopping 499 pounds. This one here, the Bob XL, used to be 450 pounds. And that has gone to a 650 UK pounds. And then even Junior Bob, who used to be about 230 English pounds, is now 400 and 20 English pounds. So you can see that these are expensive items to have. In saying that, here at this gym, we have got quite a few. We use them a tremendous amount. And I am a big, big believer in Bob in terms of what they can do for people. I just think that the head and the body torso, how lifelike it is, but also the fact that people have got something that is more sort of uh, realistic to hit, a lot of people when they're on the bag they can't really like focus on that being an opposition whereas with the bobs whether it's for children or whether it's a normal century bob or the bob xl with the shorts you know you really do know when you're punching what area you're punching at whether it be the head or whether it be the body i mean for me when you're hitting the body on the bob it is the best part it does feel more real the head, not as real as a human person, but still you have got a good target where you can go to sort of the, the chin, the jaw, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the temples, wherever you really want to uh, strike at. I have to say, and I don't know if they did this on purpose, but when you hit that liver, it really does make a real good cracking sound. Um, and so that is a great way to know whether or not you've hit the right spot on the bob and whether on a real person you'll be really digging that shot into the liver also great place to hit on here is the solar plexus and of course bob is in good shape he's got the pecs he's got the shoulders he's got the abs he's also got the ribs so again it's just a great target um the century bob is iconic and you'll see these in quite a few films um, I really wanted these at the gym and I have to say just the fact that you can move them round, the fact that they're so versatile and also the fact that they come in opposite to see the, the different variations as well. We've got two of them at the gym, we've got a couple of three of them and we've got one of these. So we're very fortunate here at the gym. We have to maintain them as well, make sure, because they do get split, the bolts do come undone. Um, you know, even sort of the plastic casing at the bottom, we've got one that's got a little split on it. But, you know, we can repair them. We have been sort of, uh, been using them a tremendous amount. And a lot of people at the gym really do like hitting Bob. So I just wanted to bring you that. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel. And I shall speak to you soon.